Hey guys, okay, so today's video is going to be a haul on Sephora and some things that I did pick up at TJ Maxx as well. Um, but I did order stuff online and in store I did pick up as well. Um, I haven't bought anything for myself in a while since probably like my birthday. So I definitely wanted to do a video on like just a little haul that I did because I finally got some stuff and I'm excited about it. Okay, so one of the first things I got was the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray, and it's long-lasting. This one is amazing, and I really, really like it. I have the travel size one that I got in um, my birthday in, like, November, and I liked it so much that I got the full size. Um, I really, really like this setting spray. It's absolutely amazing. It's oil-free, paraben-free, and it makes your makeup look like your skin, so it really does the job, and it makes it last, like, forever. So I absolutely love this, and I had to pick up a full size and the next thing I got was the Sephora Super Supreme Body Butter in Lusty Pleasure. Um, this is an amazing body butter and it's only eight dollars. Can I just say that again? Yes, you heard me correctly. Eight dollars and it's amazing. It's one of the best like body creams, moisturizers, anything that I have ever tried in my life and this is what it looks like. So it smells so freaking good. Oh, my God. Oh, just take a whiff of that. That's amazing. And it's so creamy. It's not greasy. Oh, it's amazing. Love that. Love, love, love that. Okay, so if you guys have shopped at Sephora, you know that in the front, they get you, okay? They put some travel size stuff that's like $8 or $10, and then they get you that way. And they get me every time because everyone knows that I love travel size things, and... They got me. But, I mean, it's just, it's really cute. It's a mini mineral powder brush, and I really, really like it. It's so cute, and it leaves such a nice finish. It's really small. It comes in this, like, little thing, like, plastic thing to put it in. And you take it out, and look at it. It's so cute. And I got this because I always have to take this with me. And if you guys can tell, this powder brush is freaking ginormous. I cannot be sticking this in my bag. This takes up way too much room. It's freaking huge. And I, I just don't like having a big, huge brush in my purse. So I got a little mini one. And I use this just to um, touch up with my... Um, my Neutrogena Shine Control Powder. Oh my gosh, this little guy is like a nifty little treat of love. Like, look at him. He's so cute. I love, love, love this. This is so perfect for my purse. I have like a little mini makeup bag that I keep in my bag. And this fits in there perfectly. So I really, really am happy I got this one. And it's so, so soft. But it really is um, pretty amazing for just like blotting throughout the day or anything like that. Okay, and then I picked up the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner, and this is what it looks like. Um, I really, really love the black one. Okay, I have the black one already. And um, this one I use literally every day. I absolutely love it. It's such a great felt tip liner, and it really, really does um, amazing things for your wing liner. But I will say about these Stila liners is when you first start using them, I mean, it is literally a nightmare. It makes you want to throw it out. makes you want to write a bad review. makes you want to flip the heck out because you get so frustrated trying to get, like, the liquid to come out. But I will say, after, like, several times of me attempting to use it over and over again, once I, like, used it several times, it just, it just started working for me. And I feel like the same thing is happening with this one. I tried to use it before the video, which I have a little bit right here, but it is so hard to get liquid out of this freaking thing and I mean guys leave me a comment in the comment sections if you guys know what I'm talking about if you've tried these steel liners let me know what you guys um think about them and if you guys have the same problem and if so like do you guys know why it does that or you know any tips on how to get the color to come out a lot quicker I mean I don't know I shake it I do whatever I can to get this freaking blue out and it's so hard and the color is beautiful they have like all these new colors out so I tried the navy blue one because I'm if you guys can tell by my shirt I'm really on a navy blue kick okay so this is the black one and then this is the navy blue one so you can actually see that little hint of blue in there so I really really love that little like pop of like navy blue it's really really pretty so I'm a big fan of that 
Okay, so the thing that I mainly ordered online was the Sephora Favorite Skin Cleanse Detox Your Skin with Our Obsessions Volume 2. I haven't finished trying everything, so I will show in detail a review video on this alone. So I'm not going to show you everything now. So just keep an eye out if you guys want to see what's in here. If not, you can go online and check it out. They have ratings and reviews and stuff like that. But there's also a Volume 1 as well. Um, but they're both highly rated. I think they're almost like 5 stars each. So I definitely really am excited to do my full review on this. So keep an eye out for that. The next product I got was a recommendation from my sister and it is the Ole Henriksen um, African Red Tea Foaming Cleanser and this is what it looks like. I'm not going to go into too much detail about this because I do want to do that skincare review. A lot of people do rave about this and it's for good reason. It really is amazing and I'll give you my thoughts on it um, when I do my skincare review video. And then obviously when you order from Sephora uh, online they do give you samples and one of the samples was this Buxom like mini like lip gloss thing and the color Mudslide and this is what it looks like. This little guy, oh my gosh, I love the color that this gives. It's so beautiful and it's really, really pretty. I think I just might buy the full size one because it's that pretty. The only thing is, is like if you don't like um, the minty, like, you know, kind of tingly feeling on your lips, this is probably not for you. But I really like these lip glosses. I feel like I just washed my mouth with Listerine. It's like fresh breath all day without having to chew gum or anything. So I really do love these. And then they also sent me the Tarte Pure Morocco Oil. And this is what it looks like. It's so freaking cute. Like, oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, so cute. I am going to do a comparison of the Josie Maron and the Tarte Oil. Um, they're very similar, but there is a difference to them. And I'll go into like more of a review um, when I do that video on like all the skincare stuff. So, yeah, I have been enjoying this though. I, I can't even lie. It's so cute. I just can't. Love little mini things. They're so freaking cute. I got this lipstick. Um, I do have two other ones and I got the lipstick in the color Naked. Um, this one is absolutely beautiful. It is a like nudie I don't even know. It's got like a, it's a pink with a little hint of coral and it's really, really beautiful. I love mudslide on top of this. This is really gorgeous lip color. And if MAC and Chocolate Soleil Bronzer had a baby, that's what this would smell like. It smells like heaven. Ugh. The rest of the stuff I got was from TJ Maxx, but they were really awesome, like good quality things that I got for really inexpensive. And one of them is the Ole Henriksen Truth Cream in Advanced Hydration. And this is what it looks like. It came in a box, but I threw the box away. I am going to review this when I do that skincare review on the kit and the Moroccan oils and stuff like that. So I will keep an eye out for this one because I have a lot of things to say about this guy. Then I picked up another e.l.f. stippling brush because uh, I love e.l.f. stippling brushes. They're absolutely amazing and I use them for blush, for concealer, for, I mean, anything you can think of, I use this little stippling brush for, so I got another one. And then I picked up the Joyco Color Endure um, Sulfate Free Shampoo. And I always see Joyco there. Joyco is a pretty popular hair care line and it's professional, so I definitely wanted to try this because I do have color treated hair and I really just wanted a new shampoo and I really, really do love this. Can I just say, it is the only sulfate-free um, shampoo that I've ever used that actually suds up a little. And I can't help but get annoyed when I use sulfate-free shampoos and they don't suds up because I feel like I'm not even cleaning my hair. So I do really, really like this because it doesn't it doesn't feel like I'm not cleaning my hair. I still feel clean, but it's also sulfate-free. So I don't know. I really, really like it. Okay, so the rest of the stuff I got were nail polishes and I got the color The Girls Are Out in Essie. And if you guys can tell, it's got like shimmer, magenta kind of color. And it's so pretty. It's what I'm wearing on my nails right now. And my mom even complimented me on them. So I was like, oh, they are cute. <laughs> and then I got the Butter Londons. I couldn't believe Butter London was in um, PJ Maxx. I got three colors, if you guys can tell. Okay. And they are Thames. Jack the Lad and No More Weighty KT, which is clearly for Kate Middleton from England. So that was kind of weird. But um, yeah, it's like a, they all have like a little bit of glitter or at least a sheen. But I really, really like these colors. I had never purchased a Butter London before. So I thought it was a great way to try a high-end nail polish without having to break my wallet. So that was pretty cool that they were there. Okay, guys, so that's it for my haul. I hope you guys liked the video. Um, please stay tuned for the skincare review on all the skincare stuff that I did get from Sephora. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.